So you know I've been looking for work since we got to California and I have to share with you guys this absolute just interview fail that happened two days ago. I found this position for traffic planner with the city and I did all my research, okay, like Googled all the tough interview questions and how to answer them properly and everything that the uh, traffic engineering and infrastructure division does and like the programs that they have going on and just did all my research to know everything about the department and the job and just how to how to interview correctly it's been a very long time since I've been on an interview and so I get I get there and the first part is like a written written thing they gave me a scenario and I had to draft a letter asking for some community involvement so I think I did pretty good with that I'm, I'm pretty good at writing and the second part was to sit in front of a panel of people and answer questions so that was going well I was I thought I was answering these questions pretty good except they threw this one question at me that I was just like what I didn't I didn't understand it they asked me what my presentation style is I still don't really know what that means because I didn't know if they were looking for a one-word answer if there is sort of a one-word answer I just kind of went on to say how I like to use PowerPoints and I make a point not to read off them but kind of make bullet points and then like uh, talk off of those points but not read the I, I mean that's what I said I don't even know if that's right guys honestly what is the presentation style should I was that supposed to be like a one-word answer I don't know but anyway so I was everything else you know I was I was answering pretty well I thought and then in the middle of the interview my phone alarm goes off and I had put the phone on silent and completely forgot that even if your phone's on silent your alarm will go off I should have turned the phone off I know it was just like a dumb blonde moment right it's just like what the fuck so this alarm starts going off I have to get up out of my seat to go grab my purse to dig my alarm out and I'm just like shit how can I like save myself from this absolute fail so a question they had just finished asking me was how do I stay organized and multitask effectively with you know deadlines and projects going on how do I keep it all together and stay on top and so when the alarm went off I was just like oh you know I'm so sorry that was that was to get my son and then they're like oh well do you have to leave to go get him and I was like no 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 I I have it set for about an hour before I even have to go because I want to make sure that whatever I have going on I have ample enough time to start wrapping up and you know it's just another way of how I stay organized and on top of things and making sure everything is you know I'm not too rushed and I get things done on time so yeah that's how I I tried to play that off like that I mean that's the truth but uh, I can't believe that happened that was so embarrassing that was so embarrassing so yeah my phone alarm went off in the middle of the interview and I know you guys are probably like why do you have an alarm to get your kid I have that thought in the back of my head that one day I'll forget to pick them up seriously it's never happened but I just have this fear that I'll just forget so I have an alarm to get them I really do and yeah so that was uh that was pretty bad other than that though I think it went well and I should hear either tomorrow or Tuesday in the next few days if I got hired or not I really hope I do such a sweet position and oh how about this in the middle of that interview when I was waiting to go into the the uh, panel part of it where I got asked the interview questions I was checking my phone and there was a voicemail from a number I didn't recognize and so I checked it and it was like hey this is so-and-so the hiring manager from Gold's Gym I wanted to see if you wanted to come in an interview guys I seriously applied for the shop a couple months ago and didn't get it it's for a child care position where you uh, drop you drop your kids off you know at the gym so you can work out and the hours are like 
8 to 12 and then 4 to 8. Sundays is like 1 to 5. And they don't pay a whole lot, but the beauty of it is you can take your kids with you to work. So the $1,100 that we're going to have to spend for three kids on before, after care and daycare would be eliminated. Yeah, about $1,100 for our three kids to uh, have child care. So that was like a awesome position, I thought, because there are tons of Gold's Gyms everywhere. And hopefully, you know, if, when we move, there'd always probably, hopefully, be a gym around. But they didn't hire me. And I had done my application right before they opened. And, you know, I followed up with the manager a couple times. And she was basically like, we hired everybody we wanted. I don't know if they were just trying to hire people who had, like, degrees in child, uh, early childhood development or worked at daycares before. I don't know, because I haven't done that. But... You know, I have three little ones. I have actual experience, and I'm very patient and and easy with kids. I, I, I enjoy being around children. And, yeah, I was totally bummed that I didn't get the job. And then she calls me in the middle of this one interview of this job I really want as well, and she's like, yeah, come in for an interview. So I have that interview tomorrow. So, fingers crossed. I need one of these jobs. I need one of these positions. Guys, send me your positive vibes. <laughs> please, 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 please send me those positive vibes. I need either this city job or this Gold's Gym job. They're both, um, they're both really good. I, I want them both, but we'll see. So I'll let you guys know, okay? I will let you know how it goes. Fingers crossed.